Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to show you how you can run ROS node on Arduino. With this node you will be able to publish sensor data to ROS environment, like from this MPU 9250 EMU sensor for example. But first a little bit of theory. ROS provides powerful built-in packet management system called Katkin. Build system is responsible for generating targets from ROS source code. These targets can be used later by end users. There's a bunch of popular build systems used in uh, software development. CMake is one of them, and Katkin uses CMake under the hood, but also adds some additional functionality to it. Katkin packages are nothing more than directories contain different resources which, when considered together, may constitute some useful node. These resources may include source codes for nodes, third-party libraries, datasets, and more. And Katkin Workspace is essentially a directory where Katkin packages are built, modified, and installed. Typically, when you are developing ROS project, you will be working out of a single workspace. This single workspace will hold a wide variety of different Katkin packages. To create Katkin workspace, we first have to create necessary folders and then run Katkin make from the top level folder. Running Katkin make for the first time inside your new workspace will create additional necessary folders and files. Next, inside SRC folder, we can create new package with Katkin create package command followed by the name of the package and followed by the list of dependencies. As you can see here, we have CMake lists file created by the first invoke of Katkin make inside our newly created workspace and also folder created by Katkin create package command. Inside package folder you can see CMake lists file because any CMake compliant uh, package must have at least one CMake lists file. Also package XML file where specify information about your package such as version, name, dependency on other Katkin packages, authors, maintainers and so on. Source folder as you might have already guessed is for source code files and include folder for header files. Every time you are going to use Katkin workspace, you need to source setup file which is located inside devil subfolder. This file is automatically generated by Katkin make command and sourcing this file would uh, properly overlay Katkin workspace on top of your environment. After creating package, we need to build it using Katkin make command. I've created simple robot in SolidWorks and I've used SolidWorks to URDF exporter to generate URDF files, meshes and launch files and I've already placed all these files inside our simple mover package folder. So now we can just vis visualize robot model inside RVs. As you can see this is just simple through degree of freedom robotic arm and we are going to control it with our EMU sensor. Let's now visualize compute graph generated by our package with the help of RQT graph command. This graph should be already familiar to you from the previous video. We have joint state publisher node which publishes on joint state topic and we have robot state publisher which is subscribed to joint state's topic and which itself publishes on TF topic and we have Reviz node which is subscribed to TF and use it to, to update the visualization of robots model. And now we are going to develop our own TF publishing routine. To use ROS nodes inside Arduino environment, we need to install two additional libraries. Specifically, 
Rosnoetic Cross Rose Serial Library and Rosnoetic Cross Rose Serial Arduino Library. You should replace Noetic with name of your ROS distribution, which is installed on your computer. As you can see, I already have both of these libraries installed. Next, in your Arduino IDE, check the location of sketchbook folder. This should be the folder where Arduino libraries folder is also located. Next, run the following command and pass as an argument location of libraries folder inside Arduino sketchbook folder. I won't run this command because I already generated all the necessary libraries. And if everything is ok, you should see roslib folder inside Arduino libraries folder. Alright, now we are in Arduino IDE and as you can see, thanks to generated roslib library, we can include ROS libraries directly in Arduino code. Next we instantiate node handle object which is needed to initialize ROS node that we are creating here. And then we create ROS publisher node which will publish on emote data topic uh, messages of type vector 3 which belong to geometry messages package. In the setup function we initialize our emote sensor and then we advertise our topic that is we tell master node that we are going to publish on this topic data of type vector 3. And in the loop function we just receive data from the emu sensor, convert it to roll pitch your Euler angles in radians and then publish this data on our topic. And spin once is a function to invoke callbacks which should be activated on the subscriber's site after receiving messages from our topic. Alright, now let's take a look at transform publisher node code. Here you can see that I've included some message definitions header files, specifically vector 3 message which we are going to receive from emu sensor and transform stamped message which we are going to publish on TF topic. Also, I've included transform broadcaster package, which is designed to publish on TF topic and Quaternion library to represent orientation. Next go some variables that hold initial translation and orientation data of robots frames. Here I defined function to convert from Quaternions to Euler angles because I didn't find one in Quaternion library. In main function we first initiate our node and call it transform broadcaster. Then we convert initial orientation of robots joints to Euler angles. Translation part of transform data will be left unchanged. Then we actually start our node by defining node handle object and subscribe to emu data. Other two parameters in subscribe functions are length of the buffer, that is we define that after 10 messages old messages will be thrown away as new arrive. And also reference to callback function. In the callback function we first instantiate transform stamped messages objects and transform broadcaster object. Then we specify parents frame ID and child frame ID. That is in this first message we will define translation and the rotation of link 1 relative to base link. Translation part of transform messages for any joint doesn't change, so we just place it in the appropriate fields of transform message. And then we take appropriate orientation from our message, update Euler angles for joint 1, convert these Euler angles back to quaternions and update appropriate fields inside message definition and so with the rest of the joints. At the end we just pack all 
message definitions objects inside vector and publish transforms. Now we have to modify a little bit CMake lists file. First of all, with uh, add executable function, we define executable build target. Within this function, we specify name of the target and location of the source code. In add dependencies function, we specify that our target, executable target, needs some necessary messages to be generated. And since our package doesn't build any messages itself, we leave only name of the target and cut can export it targets option in this function. And we need to uncomment target link libraries function because we need our target to be linked against necessary Kotkin libraries. We have to replace project name node with the name of our, of our executable target. Now we have to Kotkin make our project. But before launching it, let's take a quick look at launch file. In the launch file we have one parameter, that is our uh, robot description file. Next we have static transform publisher node. This node is needed to publish transform from dummy link, which is attached to world frame, to base link. Then goes our air broadcaster node that we've created and this. So in launch file we can specify all the parameters that need to be loaded to the parameter server and all the nodes that need to be started so that we don't have to do this manually one by one every time we want to start our application. Before launching our package we need to start Arduino node. For this we need Rosmaster to be up and running. Next we launch Rosserial node. It automatically subscribes to topics published over serial port. Of course, Arduino code must already be running by this time. And then time for our newly created package. Here we need to specify a link to which a fixed frame is attached and add robot model to display. Looks good, but first let's take a look at compute graph. Alright, now you can see that compute graph changed. We have serial node which publishes on a more data topic. We have our uh, node TF broadcaster which is subscribed to Emudata and publishes on TF topic. And we have static transform broadcaster. It publishes static transform. And Reeves is subscribed to TF topic. And now we are ready to move to the fun part. Testing. Here you can see that when I rotate sensor around X axis, joint 2 is moving. Now I rotate sensor around the Greek axis and joint 3 is responding. And Z axis of IMU sensor is responsible for joint 1. Alright friends, that is for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, press like if you liked the video and see you next time.